Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you about Dropbox. I'm going to help you get set up and just walk you through a couple basic features. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to Dropbox.com, which will bring you to this screen. Uh, you can watch a short introductory video explaining Dropbox if you'd like. Uh, but we'll, what we are going to do is go to the uh, login drop down arrow. And first thing you'll have to do is create an account. So we're going to click on that link. And it'll bring you to this screen. Very simple. Put your name in, put your email, and then put your desired password for your Dropbox account. And then it'll set your account up. And once you're done with that, you can now log in. Put your email, and you'll put your password in. And, th and then it will uh, bring you to the Dropbox screen. Uh, this is where all your files are currently being stored. Uh, Dropbox allows you to upload any kind of files you can think of uh, from simple text documents, PowerPoints, um, actual videos, and music files as well. So anything and everything. Um, and they stay stored right here. Uh, and currently I have mine organized into nice little folders. Um, the more and more files you get, the easier it is just to sort in the folders. And so I'm just going to show you a few of the basic things we have here. Um, one is the upload. Um, that is going to be how, when you're using the internet-based uh, Dropbox, you will put files into the Dropbox. You'll select that. Um, you'll choose the files um, to um, upload, and it'll go through. Uh, you go through your computer, find the file you want, and then hit Start Upload, and it'll upload it into your Dropbox. You can create new folders. Um, to store your files in, very easy. And then one of the the more important ones, I think, is the share a folder option. If we were, if I wanted to share one of my folders and all the files in it with somebody, all I would have to do is simply click on the desired folder, and I could now invite to folder uh, somebody. Um, and it becomes very easy. You're going to put that person's email address right in this area and click share folder. And now when that person logs on to their Dropbox, uh, they will have access to that folder and all the contents of it. It becomes a public folder um, shared between uh, only people you allow it to be shared with. So it's a really neat uh, little feature. Uh, one more thing before we go to the desktop version of Dropbox. If you click on this Get Started tab up here, it's going to bring you to a screen um, that has seven little tasks. Um, and in case you don't know, when you get Dropbox, you automatically are given two gigabytes of free space, which is a ton of room. It really is a ton of room. But there's a way you can actually earn more for free. Um, if you complete any five of these seven tasks, you'll be given 250 megabytes on top of the two uh, gigabytes you already have and as you can see I've earned that and I uh, and it says you can now store up to 2.25 gigabytes of stuff in your Dropbox it's a great thing um, and I would highly recommend doing it the more space the better um, I'm gonna log out really quickly and that's gonna take me back to the main screen um, if you were to click on this download Dropbox um, Dropbox is going to uh, basically begin downloading onto your computer um, and once you go through and install it and set it up what you will get actually I'm going to minimize this and go to my desktop is a little Dropbox icon that's going to sit right on your desktop um, and this will also be another way and a more convenient way on your home and personal computer to put files and manage files in your Dropbox if you click on it it actually opens up and looks just like any other folder you were to have um, on your computer and it operates uh, operates uh, just like one so let's say I wanted to add uh, a document into any of these I have random documents sitting right here I could simply take and drag it and I could either drop it into one of these folders or just drop it right into my Dropbox and it's as simple is that if I go back real quick and log in again
what we see now is that document, the Mesa password document, is now in my online version, and as it says, it was uh, stored 12 seconds ago. So you can see it instantaneously stores it for you. Um, it's overall just a great uh, tool to use, uh, and I would recommend not only using the online version, but also downloading um, the file and using um, the Dropbox on your desktop as well.